goal scorer. It's undisputable what he can do. 100 goals for the club. But there is one player, Saeed. I'm not here to agree with you the whole time, lad. Uh, I had a debate with Rance the other day. He got very salty over the star boy, Sanch. I said to him, um, Darwin Nunes yeah. has had more of an impact for Liverpool than what Sancho has had in a season longer for Manchester United. Is this a statement that you would agree with? Because Rance certainly didn't. You know what it is? I, I don't think... It's very, very difficult to assess both of them. One is there to score goals. One has to be there to create. Um, obviously, all to score Saeed. goals. But I think they have... Now, honestly, I genuinely seen think that. they have different you know what roles. that is? No, wait there, Saeed. Do you know what that is? It's, it's a plaster. So, do you know what I just done? You rip it off. Just admit... The signing has not been great to this point. He's been a bit meaty and he's probably not going to fulfil a success, a successful Manchester United. No, no, I, 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 don't, like I, don't, I disagree with that. I think for me, people if he keeps going like this. Slack. You know, you know, people have got to give him. He came under a manager at Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Then he was sacked and we had Ralph Franklin for the rest of the season. He's not had stability. He's had the first manager now that actually can believe in him. This is going to be Sancho's season. And I think for me, this is a season where people can fully, fully judge him. You might say, well, he should be banging in first season. And I understand that. But last season, there wasn't much stability. This season, there's a lot of stability. There's a manager, there's a coach, there's a guy who has a philosophy. He has to perform this season. I won't, at the end of this season, I'm telling you right now, I will not give any excuses to Sancho. But for me, I want to see what he could do under this manager. And yes, it's the 3rd of November. And yes, he hasn't performed still this season but I'm still happy with his progress I'm still happy with what he's trying to do don't get me wrong we're not going to get a German Sancho this is what people don't don't realise that's a different league he has to adapt right now he's struggling to adapt but he's trying to find his feet and there's another thing that I want to mention I still believe he hasn't played with an actual number nine like a lot of people will say you're talking nonsense he's played with Ronaldo I'm sorry Ronaldo's not going to tailor towards what he does he hasn't played with Martial or he played with him in one, with one preseason. And that's about it. Rashford up front. His game relies on one to one link up play, a lot of feeding off other people, you know what I mean? Interchange, little combinations, transition. And that's basically part of his game. We've seen it with Haaland. He hasn't had that on my United. But don't get me wrong, that's a lot of excuses that I've made for him. But in terms of his own performances, he needs to do better. He needs to give us more. It's as simple as that. He needs to give us more. And he needs to start improving. And it's as simple as that. There's no one right now saying, oh, Sancho will... Da, da, da. He has to now give us the answers. We've kind of given him the backing and everything like that. And we still will do. But he has to now say to us, right, I've, I've let you down, guys. And, and you know what? I haven't given you the full amount of money. And I haven't given you the full 70 million worth. Do you know what, though, Saeed? Right now, do you know what, though, Saeed? I think he's genuinely tried. And I, I think he's got all the ability in the world. When he joined Man United, I thought he was going to be a great sign. And the first thing I've recognised fairly quick is the how much he's just not great in space. Like, when, or when he's got, like... When he has to make that quick thinking reaction, taking on players has been something that's been a big underwhelming factor in his game yeah. that I've been seeing recently because that's what I associated him with, being able to create that space to make those chances for the people running into the box. And I have to respectfully disagree. He hasn't had an out-and-out out number nine, but he's had an out-and-out out, uh, outlet, which is exactly what Haaland is. So Haaland is a physical... Oh, come on, quick Ronaldo and Haaland? One sec. Mm. No, fuck Ronaldo. Fuck Ronaldo because you've also got Rashford this season. You've got United playing the best football that they've played in recent times and Sancho is still struggling massively in my opinion and he scored against us and he put Van Dijk on his heart yeah man I, I get mm. that but on a consistent basis I don't think he's going to have enough to fulfil what is going to be good enough for United if you want to get back to league titles which I assume in a season or two that's exactly what you want to do I don't think he's going to be good enough for that but do you not think though if I was giving you an example would Liverpool be the same in their success Without what Firmino did in terms of his underrated ability, would it would it be the same success? Do you no, think it wouldn't so? but Santa, but Firmino m like mastered and specialised in playing in the false nine role, finding the healthy balance of creating space for other people. And this is what it's I'm talking about with Martial. Players. So we yeah, are with Martial, Martial, different player. I don't know. See, sense. I think I think for me with with Martial and what Firmino does, I think the similar roles in link up playing. I, feel I thought like we were talking about that. Sancho. No, no, I'm talking about, about no, no, I'm talking about when when you're when I'm talking about Firmino, what he gives. Oh, uh, Liverpool, yeah, and that underrated feeling. I'm talking about yeah. with Sancho. He's like almost. But what? What the, is? I it know though? it's that unlocking. I know. I, I know it means kind of like oh, another player that needs unlocking. But 
he does provide a lot with what Sancho and Martial do in terms of link-up play. And we haven't seen that by United. We've only seen it for one preseason. And this is why mm. I'm saying fans just lay off him and give him that time and that rebuilding process. Obviously, it relies on Martial staying fit, which isn't easy. But I'm, I just want to see that before I give a full judgment. I agree. I think that's Sancho the best approach. I think that's yeah. the best approach. I'm not saying it's, it's like yeah. definitely not going to work. I'm telling you what I'm predicting to happen. I think you're going to end up getting better than Sancho, someone who's more suited to your team than what Sancho is as well. And then all round, you'll be better. So do you think, forget you know what, what you think you should do. Yeah, forget what you think you should do. Yeah. Do you think he will? reach the heights of a standard that's going to be good enough for United to be competing for leagues year in, year out. Because regardless, and the point I was making before, Dave, quick before I let you go, Saeed, is Hallands is an outlet, Rashford is an outlet. The both players who find positions and the both players who, whoever you think's better, it doesn't matter. Yeah. They're very similar in the way that they play. Do you get what I'm saying? Nunes is, yeah, yeah. again, very similar type of player, just very much let's find space. So when you've got these similar players and Sancho still isn't thriving, do you think he will end up thriving? Is the question I'm asking. You know what? I'm, I'll be honest with you. I can't give you an answer. I, I'm I just think... no, I, I People tune you know in. People tune to YouTube shows, so we're not doing all the managerial bullshit. You know like, is? oh, we're just, we're just so. focused on the next game. You know what? You know what? I'm going to PR side, lads. I'm disappointed in you. PR I believe so. I believe so. I believe. Waiting for the Sancho interview. You know what? I believe Sancho will come good. I don't. Like, I'm, I'm not saying I will, it will happen. I believe it will. In, in that, if that makes sense, I, it, basically, it's a fence, but I've, I've got positive feelings about Sancho. <laughs> and we can, have the, we can have a full, full debate where you can absolutely slaughter Sancho if Martial comes in his team and if we buy a striker in January and then it's Sancho just a lot of ifs for me. Okay, so to Listen, accommodate for Sancho, you, we need Martial to come in. Wait there, Saeed. Wait there, wait there, wait there. You said it. You said it, man. <laughs> you Saeed, gave you me just that. said to me, so the way that Sancho's boss is, if we get Martial in and if Ten Hag just finds the right little emotional attachment with Sancho and if we get the main strike and if we get... And, yeah. and, uh, the, 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 oh, my name is Saeed and I like to make excuses for <laughs> Sancho. You United fans, I promise you, I'm doing it for your benefit. I've done it for you when you were shit. I'm doing it. I'm giving no, you pointers man. as a Liverpool fan to how to run give, your football give club. Give time, man. You give are a the comment... season, man. That's but, all I'm saying to you people. You might be fully right. That might bring out the best in Sancho. Believe me, I'm sure if you were commentated enough to myself, I would look like a very bang average <laughs> Premier League player, which would be very higher level than what my football ability actually is. I like Sancho. I just don't think the Premier League's cut out for him. I think you're trying to accommodate too much that to make him successful. You that, and it financially, you financially, you don't have to have him. You can get He's someone else. Who, there is always another Sancho, my brother. There is always I another I Sancho. Get that. And you know, what? there's one thing I want to, two points I want to make. That hurts me because it's two years we've been chasing him. And for us to kind of be talking about Sancho, we're probably not cutting the Premier League. Fair. Two years, that hurts. And then the second bit is, you know what? If the manager replaces him and he brings another player in, I don't think I have that emotional attachment. We move. Like, we move. I, I, I know, it, it, it sounds like, you know, I'm not backing Sancho, but you know what? We move in it. Like, the manager don't rate him. The manager All wants to bring someone else in. If, if, Sancho to, was no, at, if, Sa if Sancho was at Real Madrid, if he was at Real Madrid doing this, I'd give him the rest of the season. If he's at Real Madrid... So, Saeed, this is where I'm talking to you about like the Man United's expectations in a couple of seasons. Because with okay. what he's doing now, it's not going to compare to that. So, if he was at Real Madrid, are they persistent with this shit? Um, I think, I like think they'll be uh, absolutely... Uh, they'll be the white flags right now. They'll be the white yeah. flags. <laughs> yeah. They'll be the white flags. Yeah. Proper heavy shit, lad. Like, really heavy shit. They'll be the white and it's flags. not ideal that footballers don't get the time. But at the top of the game, you don't have time. Time is money. Time is trophies. That is what football correlates to when you talk about time. And regardless, Sancho might be great for Dortmund. World class, in fact. But for Manchester yeah. United, it just might not suit him. We're going into a very system-based game. And if you're accommodating too much, is that mm. just too much work for one player to work out? And we've known from previous experiences, different yeah. but similar. If you get like Ronaldo in the team, just to accommodate to Ronaldo, it affects somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. You know what it is, though? There's one thing about Ten Hag, though. I just don't think he's, 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 got, he's got the kind of image in the face of, yo, listen, if you don't work, I'm bringing on Ilango and I'm bringing on the other players in. So right now... If Sancho, that's what I keep saying. Like, I don't really have the amount of pressure. I, you know what I mean? I want him to succeed, obviously. 
but it's, he has to prove it to me. Like, he has to prove it to the fans. Yeah, man. Step yeah, up. Man. Step up. You know? Maybe it's the fear factor of being in the limelight, like Man United. That's Dortmund. He, he was being talked about, but it was in a, such a positive way, confidence yeah. way. Like, like sincere love from the fact. Like, I'm not saying you don't sincerely love him. I can tell by the way you're fucking defending him over fuck yeah. all that he's done on the pitch. I know you exactly. love him. Exactly. Um, <laughs> It's just, and I know you want it to work out. I, I I'm the same for every player that comes in. They're like a young winger, and you're like, yeah, he's good. I want him to do well. Like if Luis Diaz didn't end up working out, I'll be like, that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah. It's just the impact has been so little. It's very hard for us to even work off the base that Sancho has created for himself. Uh, but I didn't want to just lay into Sancho. It's I, I just like debates, and I seem yeah, to yeah. disagree on a lot of points of views that Man United fans have about Sancho, but I think it's just boss to have a discussion, Saeed, and I think that nah, was... No, it's good, man. I mean, this is what it's all about, well. man. Different opinions, different um, ways of thinking about football, and, you know what I mean? If we could do it in a respectful way, that's what all that matters, isn't it? You know what I mean? That's how you debate, Saeed. 